So hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Dr. Shankar Raja and I'm a doctor of pharmacy from India. It's been a long time since we made a video in English. In recent days, my DMs in Insta and Telegram are filled with messages regarding Ireland. Many students who are freshly graduated from college are hoping to join masters in Ireland. Many agencies and consultancies are using this opportunity to scam them. I think this is the right time to make a video on this particular topic. I personally feel this video is super important for the persons who are willing to do masters in Ireland. Few years ago, I made a video on masters programs in Ireland. I hope that video was helpful for many students to decide a career path for them. But that was couple of years ago. In recent days, the situation has changed and it is worrying some. Ireland is gradually moving towards a Canada-like situation for the students. It is a bad news for students who are doing masters in Ireland and we can find many students who are returning back to India even after completing their master's degree. So what are all the reasons and factors involved? Let's take them one by one. Number one factor, lack of experience. The biggest mistake a student makes is choosing to do a master's degree directly after their undergraduate study. They lack work experience and practical work related skills. So you see, Ireland is not a place for freshers. It is a place for skilled and experienced workers. I too agree it is the main hub for the pharmaceutical industry. But that doesn't mean it will give a job to a fresher. Many companies in Ireland expect persons who are experienced and skilled. The managers are willing to give you high salary if you possess a knowledge of the field and experience. And remember, in Ireland, the experience counts. The second point is growing student population. Well, this is the key factor every student should look out for. As I mentioned earlier, you have noticed that many consultancies and agencies procured your interest through glamorous and eye-catching advertisements. This was true until 2022, but things are quite different now. For their personal gains and benefits, the agencies and consultancies started to play in students' life without knowing the situation of the pharma job market in Ireland. Because of the selfishness of these agencies and Consultancies, many pharma graduates and students' lives are getting affected financially and emotionally. So next time if someone approaches you from any agencies or consultancies saying that Ireland has great number of job opportunities after completing your master's, even if you are a fresher, question them how. The third factor is recession. Put simply, a recession is nothing but the economical downfall of a country. When the economy is high, the job opportunities are high and the salaries for the job is also high. Economy is directly proportional to the jobs given and the salaries given. This financial downfall of the economy affects many students' life and it decreases the job opportunities given for the students and also it affects day-to-day -day life for a student, including part-times. Ireland is a home to many pharmaceutical companies and the recession had hit those companies too. This results in decreased employment rates and increased unemployability. It is one of the main reasons why students life is getting affected in Ireland. Point number four, lack of opportunities. This is going to be bitter, but ultimately this is the harsh truth. It is too hard for you to get a job in Ireland as a fresher. I'm not saying it is impossible to get a job, but it is very hard for you to initially to sit in a job 
which is correctly paying. The job market in Ireland is mainly focused on regulatory affairs, QA and QC. People who have proper knowledge and experience in these particular domains will find easy to get a job in Ireland. Otherwise, it's hard for you. So what is the solution for this problem? The only solution for this problem is your job experience. Get at least two years of work experience in regulatory affairs or quality assurance or else in quality control. Make sure you have excellent communication skills and soft skills. And most importantly, keep yourself updated in your field. If you fill these boxes, then you won't have any problems finding a job in Ireland after completing your masters. So we have reached the end of this video and the main motto of this video was to create awareness among the students about the current scenario happening in Ireland. And I personally don't want the freshers to spend more in Ireland and return back to India without any binding job offers. Once again, I hope this video was helpful for you to choose a master's which is suitable for you. So thank you for watching this video and see you all in another informative and useful video. Until then, take care.